Welcome back to the show, my name is Elie Desai and you're watching On The Trend. Today's video is a painting video. So if you've been on YouTube for the past six months to the year, you probably recognize an emerging crowd of human beings entering onto the platform and they're painters, they're artists. And I am secretly deep down a part of that community. As a young tot, as a wee, as a wee tot, age six, seven, eight, nine, I was super into drawing and painting. My parents enrolled me in art classes at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. In the entrance of the museum, there is a gallery to the left where like student artwork would be hung up. And mine was hung up twice. So, let me jump to the purpose of today's video. I made this back when I was like seven years old. Elliot Desai, Eden Prairie, Minnesota, age seven, Renaissance art, fresco on wood. 16 years ago, I made this painting. Like, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Mm. I guess I'm not impressed with myself. Like, dope that I got hung up in like a student museum, but like, I look at this and I know I could do so much better now. So, I figured for today's video, I would try and recreate this painting I made when I was seven years old. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to Blick Art Materials to go buy some supplies. Here's everything I got. Canvas and this canvas. These two palettes, a white, a blue, a red for the lips. This is a green that I'm gonna use. Got a yellow because there's slightly a yellow in the background and by the collar. Got a black. We always need a black paint. These are acrylics, by the way. I was told this is the easiest paint to paint with. I actually have not painted in so long. This iridescent copper that I hope I can use to make my skin tone. And then this is a iridescent gold because the entire border is gold. And then like his robe has gold on the, the sides and along the front. And I bought six brushes. I think this is enough. I got these two big ones right here. I feel like I'm gonna do majority of the painting with. Have this small one. And then these three ones to do like really fine details. So the first thing I need to do is sketch the image. So I took some blue masking tape and gave myself a one inch border. I'm gonna sketch it out first, paint it this afternoon, and then once that dries, I'll peel off the tape and paint the gold border. But before I get started, I should change into some more art appropriate clothing, which to me is just... See, I think I can do a better job in general since I'm more skilled now, 16 years later, than I was at age seven. But I do want to try and honor exactly how I made this painting. I'm using a muscle that I haven't used in a while. It's the, it's the drawing art muscle. Plant my feet, get into the zone. Like I want to give him like a collar. This looks like he might be a shepherd, but I want to make him more of like a king, I think. I think so. So I gave some cheekbones at the nose, eyebrows, lips. I think I know where the chin's gonna be. I gave him a neck, but in the original, it's like the robe is kind of engulfing, engulf, like there is no neck or body in the original. So this, I gave kind of like a collar. I think I'm ready to start painting this. We're gonna move outside because it's nicer to sit outside during a sunny afternoon in LA. I have all my supplies and let's get painting. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. I got us these because I wanted to feel like a real <laughs> painter. So we have these. I'm pretty stoked. Do you need anything? Do you have any ideas so far? No. Oh, should I join you in this Renaissance theme? No. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I don't think I could do it. This is a seven year old. <laughs> but I think it's so good. Do you really? Like, I honestly think it's so good. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Here's what I've made so far I have my skin. It's drying. I have yellow on the base and blue. I feel like putting the green over this could add some cool layers. So here we are. It's abstract. Yeah, I don't know. It's a body. It's a, a woman. I'm going to go in with a couple more layers of some green and, and yellow and make her sort of a colorful pop okay. art eyes. Here we're going with a nice blue. Maybe do you know where you are? Maybe it's the ocean. Okay. I do like the ocean. We'll report back. I don't know. Yeah, pressure's on, but that's what art's about. Reaching inside. <laughs> the gold's great. Green's great. Blue's great. The face, I think, is done. And these eyes look like real fucking eyes. Here we are. I love it. I think it's so good. <laughs> it's a woman, clearly. There's not really too much uh, purpose behind all of it, other than her face is covered. And I'm gonna add some sort of label to this yellow box here. And I think it balances out the, the space, but also it's gonna put some significance to this color. I'm letting it draw. I've gotta to touch up some of this yellow. I love the little black and white like accents. Yeah, on, I'm like, gonna the add leg. some more black or some darker this color. I like the titties. I think they're cute. I think they're cute too. <laughs> I think they're really cute. I think it looks I also love the explicit like, oh, yeah. is that a vagina? Mm -hmm. Yes. The labia majora. <laughs> Honestly, I think we're doing a good job. Could be just like Brock and Michelle's. <laughs> <laughs> 
I had a dream that Michelle Obama gave me a puppy last night. <laughs> 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 Okay, so the final version will come tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this thing up. Today is Wednesday, November 6th, 2019, and I have just created a magnificent painting over the past three days, and I'm gonna show you the results. Ta-da! Okay, so I think I did a pretty good job. I'm actually very proud of myself. The main parts of this one that I wanted to include in the new version was the gold border, the green robe with the gold stripes, the green background, the white turban, and then look at these eyes, people. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the gold just like makes it shimmer and shine. This is my new and improved version of my original painting. Look at those eyeballs. Do you see those eyeballs? I enjoyed this entire experience. It reminded me of how much I loved art class back in like fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. It reminded me how much I loved painting and drawing back when I was seven, eight, and nine. I never lost my love for painting, but somewhere along the line of the past 23 years, I just stopped doing it. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. Even though the background of the original was purple, I added like a smoky, fiery red background and these like shiny auburn trees. You saw me peel off the tape and it was the white border, but I feel like it was lacking. But the gold border makes it seem so much more impressive. Now I actually, I do not know who this is. Uh, this androgynous fellow, this non-binary, androgynous, genderless human being wearing a turban, a robe, I, a scarf on his head, or their head. I don't know. First, I'm proud of this. Second, this has reignited my desire to keep on painting, and I have all those paints and those palettes right in my cabinet. The Blick store is a five minute walk away. A canvas of this size is only like six bucks. I'm going to make it a goal to paint more frequently, more often. I'm not gonna make a video every time I'm painting, but when I can finally improve on this, because right, like the face is pretty simple. The face isn't really anything complex. It's pretty good, but the face isn't anything complex. When I get better, then I'll make a, another painting video. But just know that behind the scenes, I will be painting non-stop going into the future. Actually, good plug, follow me on Instagram at watchonthetrend at LA Decide to see behind the scenes of my life and my weekends. But also, Emma came over to paint with me. So here is a finished version of what she made. Abstract, it's a woman, it's a being in life, it's a body in space. Surrounded by blue, the yellow is up to interpretation. I love my art. Watch on the trend turn into an interview and painting channel. And that's it. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. In the comments down below, leave your music recommendations and suggestions for future episodes of On the Trend. Painting, comedy, guest suggestions, anything and all of the above. I have an interview with the band coming out next Thursday. Keep an eye out for that. And this is the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.